feet. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Oh, but my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. And now my bed she smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. Well, I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. Well, I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of you. When we can, we let the story begin. We're going out on our first day. Mm. You and me are thrifty, so go all you can eat. Fill up your bag and I fill up your plate. Mm. We talk for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour and how your family's doing okay. Mm. And even getting a taxi, kissing the backseat, tell the driver, make the radio play. And I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handy for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. May be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come on now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. Do. But when my heart is falling too, I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. Now my bed she smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of you. Come on, be my baby. Come on, 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 come on, be my baby. Come on. I'm in love with the shape of you. You push and pull like a magnet. Oh, my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. And now my bed she smell like you. Every day discovering something new. I'm in love with your body. Come on, be my baby. Come on, 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 come on, be my baby. All right. So, hello, everyone. So, perfect timing. So, we got a hundred participants. Okay, take a look at your Zoom meeting. I don't know if you've been to a bigger Zoom class than this one. All right, this is exciting. All right, and I see a lot of the chats there and try not to spam the chat, okay? Um, but what will be interesting to see is, uh, could you guys tell us uh, which school do you come from? Your school and then grade level? All right, wow, 300 students, okay, so we should do that. All right, share, share your school and grade level so that we know where you come from. Awesome. Anyone come from uh, Northern California? Yes, awesome. All right, welcome. Very cool, yeah. Uh, since 2018, 2018, every year we have more and more students coming from Northern California. Okay, they are they sometimes actually flew here to Southern California, right? And uh, obviously they're very competitive and you know, it's always competitive. All right, so um, welcome you guys to the HSBC 2018. 20 all right and uh, this year definitely is very special um, but I don't think it's gonna be a big uh, deal for most of you since I know a lot of you have been doing the competition online you know frequently in different uh, type of competitions and for those of you who've been to uh, uh, Cal Poly for the actual HSBC 2019 18 uh, I don't think anyone or in the 17 and you are very familiar with the process and uh, even you are in a classroom, you are still using the computer to do it online with the Hacker Ranger platform. 
So this year, I don't think it's going to be a big difference, but you know, it's a still kind of a good experience to see how everyone is doing this year. And every year I see, or uh, we have to improve, improve the difficulty of the questions every single year because we just realized that you guys are so good. All right. And so uh, don't uh, be surprised that if you see the questions are more challenging, um, but you know, it's the same for everyone. Okay. So don't, don't worry too much. It's a very fair competition. I'll share more about the details. I'll share some of my personal tips for you guys to succeed uh, in this competition. All right. So anyway, guys, so let's actually go ahead and get started. So I'm going to talk about some of the background about the uh, competition and then I'll briefly introduce the rules. Okay. It's pretty much the same as what we did last year. And then I will maybe mention some of the tips or some of the things we need to know for tomorrow. And then meanwhile, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send it in the chat window or just, you know, unmute yourself and just ask. All right. So um, my name is Yusan. I'm a, a professor for computer science at Cal Poly Pomona. And then this year, me and my team, we have been chairing the uh, HSBC 2020 um, uh, committee. All right, so we've been preparing this for almost half a year. And uh, as you may know, we actually have a lot of students registered this year as well. And then um, we've been growing that since 2017. I'll share more of those data with you shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And then here uh, is a little bit of background about the competition. So um, it all started back in 2016 or in 2017, okay? When, uh, if you guys remember, uh, President Obama was actually proposing a lot of things about this computer science for all um, activities, okay? So basically that was a very big trend since 2016. And then later on, you know, the government keeps doing that, right? So even for the current government, okay? Uh, President Trump also did a lot of similar things to continue these efforts, right? And so that's why in the past years, you actually start to see in the whole United States, um, most of the states have proposed new uh, laws and new uh, curriculum, new training programs, new courses for uh, different levels of schools to have all of you guys to learn computer science. So that's why today, I guess, a lot of you have been learning computer science at different places uh, for quite a long time. Okay, so that's a very, very big trend. Um, in particular in California, let me share a little bit of information on where we are. So basically the Department of Education in California, they've been working on this one uh, very hard since 2017, 2018. And I think early last year, okay, 2019, uh, the state already have a K-12 computer science standard set up. So what does that mean? So basically you can actually go to the website and find out the link and then to say that, um, to find out for our state, okay, so what are the requirements, what are the expected goals for each individual grade level? So for example, let's say grade nine, and you probably need to know, you know, uh, iterations, conditional statements, something like that. Okay, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but there is a specific documentation for the things you should know. But I'm pretty sure for the ones who are here today, you guys are way ahead of, you know, the standards. Okay, you guys should be pretty good. And then uh, to, to participate, this, this, this is a very challenging competition. Okay, so this is not easy. A lot of questions, I think they're as hard as the college level competitions or maybe like Google's interview. All right, so uh, very good to be here. All right, so uh, uh, because of that, so we actually um, together work with uh, California State University, the whole system, and then we initialized this competition called California High School Programming Competition contest all right and we never changed the name for high school um even though we had been inviting the middle school every single year and then we started to see more and more middle school students also participating all right so that's basically a little bit of history about hipc and then we started back in 2017 and then if you are familiar with these two competition okay i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are doing uscco and anyone want to share your, your current levels do we have any uh, um, silver? Very good, all right. Awesome, bronze. So USCO, as you know, that it's a pretty um, uh, famous competition in the US. Basically, if you pass all the levels eventually, you go to the national team to represent the US to do the international competition. And you might be win, win some of the gold medals. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I see a lot of good competitors here and you guys have been doing the USCO. I think that's very, very helpful. All right. So. That's, that's another competition you guys can definitely try. I think it's uh, every, once every year, 
there are multiple uh, sessions you can compete and then you start from bronze and silver and gold and then to higher ones, all right? Uh, there is another one probably you guys don't know too much because it's mostly for the college students, all right? It's called uh, ACM program competition, all right? So this ICPC. So this is the, for the college level students and then you compete with the teams. I'm actually not sure if you can participate as high school students, but you know, keep that in mind. Once you get to the college, I'm pretty sure most of you will become CS majors and uh, this will be a, another great thing to do while you're in college. Okay, so you work with, uh, I think, total of three members per team and then you also compete uh, eight questions within a certain number of hours. Okay, so this is also very, very popular and you compete in the regional, in the US first, and then you go to US final, eventually you go to internationals. All right, so very good competition. Um, anyway, so that's kind of the background. And then we got a lot of support for the HSPC. Okay, the HSPC is also getting very, very popular, you know, beside the California State University. And we got a lot of support from National Science Foundation, from an NSA, from, um, you know, some of the special program like Gene Cyber program from NSA, and also from the industry. Okay, we got a lot of good support from Google, from Snapchat, HackerRank, um, and also NASA, JPL, and some other companies I just didn't list it. All right, so it's uh, getting very, very popular. And also all the government and industry know that how important it is to become good coders. And then uh, to, to judge whether you are a good coder or not, well, algorithm, obviously that's a very, very important um, uh, measurement. All right, so uh, definitely keep this company in mind. I'm, I'm pretty sure sooner or later, you guys will actually go to, um, uh, you know, one of these companies, all right? Awesome, okay, I saw somebody actually got the uh, Snapchat glasses two and a half years ago. That's great, That's uh, uh, that was 2018, right? So were you in middle school or high school at that time? That's uh, very impressive. All right, so we definitely got some of the Previous winners coming back, okay? So you guys should be careful, okay? Those, those winners are probably more experienced, all right? So let's keep going. And this is back in 2017, okay? Anyone been here before in the 2017? Yeah, really? Oh, wow, okay, I can't believe that. And uh, that, that's okay, <laughs> okay, you can see yourself, James. All right, so uh, that's, that's good, all right? So this, this was a picture back in 2017, the first time we, uh, we, we do it and then, uh, after that, we, we, we grew dramatically and then, okay, so sorry, this is the data from 2017. We got almost 100 students from 23 schools. And then at that time, and this is uh, the 23 schools I remember from that year. Okay, the logos, uh, can you find you guys? I saw Troy High School, University High School, Azusa High School, and um, Wana High School, uh, different ones, okay? All right, so, uh, uh, but anyway, so we've been growing, and this is the actual picture from last year, guys. If you remember, we were in the outside, you know, without the social distancing and nice weather and on the grass. And uh, this is, uh, I think it's the event before the competition, the orientation part, I think. So we got over 300 students last year, okay? So last year, over 300 students. And coming from over 100 different schools, okay? A lot of school last year. Yeah, so we waited for a long time. Sorry about that. And this year, uh, I think it will be much better. All right, so these are not all the schools, or always not 100 schools, but I would just pick some of the schools we can find and then just list it here, okay? So it's getting really popular. And also, again, we got a lot of students from Northern California as well. All right, so that's very good to have. Okay, so uh, that's just a little bit of background, all right? And um, also, I just want to know some of the facts. So uh, as far as I know, okay, so this is not official, but I'm pretty sure it's true that the SIPC is currently probably the second largest program competition in the US, okay? Um, uh, the first one, obviously, is the USACO. I think that one, probably every year, they got over 10,000 people to participate, I think, at least, all right? But um, for the other states, you also have something similar, but in terms of the number of participants every year, over 300 students, I think we are the biggest, all right? So not, uh, so the AC, some of you actually did mention about the ACSL. Uh, I'm not sure if I, I heard about that. I know a little bit about it, but we're here just talking about the, the, the programming, okay, just the algorithm. All right, so uh, if you guys know some other bigger one, definitely let me know. And uh, so, but so far we're, we're getting really popular. So that's why, you know, from this year, we also open that to other states, to even other countries, all right? So, um, so that's kind of the uh, 
good things about the competition. All right, so this competition is going to become more and more popular and valuable. Um, some of the uh, basic rules and, and the way we run it, all right, so obviously right now we are including middle school students, all right, so um, ideally it should be six to eight, and then we got email and asked us, oh, we are uh, fourth or fifth grade, can we participate? Okay, the, the answer is yes, okay, so you can uh, go to the middle school division, all right, so there's no reason for not uh, letting you go, all right, so, but it's great to see and younger and younger coders, okay, becomes really uh, competitive in the competitions all right and then so the high school division that's the our, our main division or all the high schoolers actually go to this division and um so it's also our most competitive group here okay our high school division is really competitive from what we saw in the past years okay so if you're if you are a high schooler definitely pay attention and then really prepare this well and get ready for the competition tomorrow okay it's very very competitive all right, so normally when we ask people to either compete individually or as a team of two, all right, obviously this year you can't do the team, so everybody will automatically be put into the individual. All right, you don't have an email us, oh, we got a team, what should we do? So basically everyone as long as you register and then you should just uh, go to the competition by yourself and then you will be ranked by yourself. All right, so that's basically what's gonna happen. Um, and then other rules, all right, so the competition is still, again, three hours in total. Okay, we all start at the same time, all right, from 12 o'clock tomorrow and at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, three hours in total. And then there, there will be a total of eight questions, all right? Um, so we'll talk more about the difficulties, things like that. And then also uh, the competition will still be in hacker rank this year. Okay, so we've been using a lot of this um, in the past years. It's been working really well. I know you guys are using different platform for different activity competitions. You know, each platform has its uh, uh, advantage and disadvantages. So uh, we got a lot of support from hacker rank so far. It's actually a pretty good uh, you know, platform. And this year obviously it's only online and otherwise we'll see you again in the nice weather and in the grass, beautiful, uh, you know, campus. But you know, hopefully next year we'll, we'll make it happen. Um, and also this year is the first year we actually open it for other states and also some other countries. All right, so you, we will see actually some of the participants from other, you know, uh, parts of the world. Okay, so this is the the the, the, uh, the uh, rules. Um, and then languages as usual. Okay, so we are uh, basically allowing three languages. You can do Python, you can do Java and C++. I don't think the version you know, matter too much. You obviously can do Python 2 if you want. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how many of you are still using Python 2. And Java is not a really big deal. Okay, Java, I think all the way from 7, 8 and above, I, I think uh, that's not gonna be a problem. And then C++ is the same, all right. So I, I'm not sure about the latest version of C++, but the typical version, you should be able to find it, you know, support it in the hacker rank platform, all right. Not other language, unfortunately. We don't allow uh, JavaScript or, or you know, uh, other language. All right, so it just want to make sure that uh, the things are more standardized. So this rule here follows the same ACM programming competition in uh, uh, for the uh, college level. All right, so college level they use exactly the same three languages. All right, so that's basically uh, what we're um, you know adapting. All right, so um, oh, some people want to use Scratch. That's that's awesome. I think that's going to be a lot of uh, more efficient. All right. So this is how we're gonna score everyone, okay? So pay attention to this. This is the same rule as we did last year, all right? So the most important rank will be based on the total number of questions you solved completely, all right? Keep this in mind, guys, completely, all right? That means 100% passing the test cases, all right? So if we have 10 test cases, you pass nine, that's not called solved completely. All right, so this is a little bit different from USCO. All right, so USCO, you got to score no matter what. All right, so you got to score based on the number of questions you saw, uh, test case you, you, you solved. But here, uh, uh, we, this is a similar to the college level rules. All right, so you got completely solved, and then that's going to count first. All right, so really, really important about this, this rule. Okay, even though you got eight or nine solved, okay, it doesn't, you know, give you maybe a higher rank. All right, just keep, keep that in mind. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you waste all the time. All right, so let's say if two students actually solve the same number of questions completely, you know, you both got, you both got uh, five solved completely, 100%. Then 
we actually will look at the question you didn't solve completely. At that point, the scores will matter. So if this question you solved five cases, test cases, and then the other one got only seven, oh, sorry, the, the other got more, got seven test cases, and then the other will score more, and they will got more score, and then eventually the score will be higher. All right, however, let's say that you got five questions solved partially, okay, 90%, but the other guy only solved one question, but it's completely correct, all right? The, the, the one question solver, it will be ranked higher. Okay, so we just want to make sure that you solve everything completely. All right, so this is the rule used in the college level. And I know it's not in the USACO, but uh, for college level, definitely, that, that, that's more reasonable. That basically means your, your program is perfect and then in terms of efficiency and also correctness. All right, uh, so I know you guys a lot, have a lot of questions. Okay, keep the question at the end. I can't really read all the chat right now. Okay, keep the questions at the end. So let's say if you both got the same amount of um, scores, okay, and then we'll use the time to, to rank you next. All right, so whoever uses less time, and then you will rank higher. So hacker rank actually allows you to track for each question how much time you spend on it. All right, this, this part is totally based on the hacker rank. So, but all I can tell you is rarely you will need to compare the time, okay? But pretty much use the first two, you got the rank perfect, at least for the top 10, top 20. It's pretty easy to figure out the order. The time is almost never used, all right? So don't worry about like how is exactly that that's time, but the hacker rank gave you the, the time, all right? So uh, uh, you can submit as many time as you want, all right? and there's, there will be no penalties. This is the different from college level. For college level competition, you submit once and then it's failed, then you got a penalty. All right, for our case, that's okay. You can submit as many times as you want and just try it with all the test cases and then you can just keep improving it, all right? Um, for the eventual, the rank and award, we'll actually uh, rank every, everybody in three different categories, individual, team, and also uh, we uh, have a very special category for female students this year as well. And so uh, so that means, you know, this is how it works. First of all, uh, we don't have a team this year. All right, so uh, so just, just ignore it. Everybody go to the individual in your division. Okay, for middle school, you will be in my division. If you're in high school, you will be in your high school division. And the female, same thing. Female, you're not gonna compete like separate. You will be in the same individual. However, um, so we rank the whole top uh, coders from individual and then from individual we actually also select the female students and we rank them again we pick a top five or ten all right so basically in other words if you're a female your girl and you got a number one pretty much you're going to win two awards okay so um so just to give you a little bit more encouragement all right so basically how many uh uh female students here today okay and um, send a message awesome all right no tom i saw tom tom send that all right who else Wow, okay, a lot of uh, um, guys are very uh, active. Okay, that's good. Hopefully tomorrow you will still be, you know, as excited as today, all right? So good to, good to see everyone. And uh, let me see, uh, let's keep going. And then what else? So uh, yeah, we pretty much were awarded the top 10 since we have a lot of participants right now for each division, each category. We'll, we'll award as many as we want. Okay, this is not guaranteed. It eventually depends on how many students are in the system. So we'll pick a certain percentage of uh, participants and then you will see your rank there. All right, so it's all automatically ranked by hacker rank. All right, uh, so uh, you've been to our competition, you know, this is another interesting fact. All right, so I'm very, actually very familiar with the USCCO. In my opinion, now this HSPC is more fair and objective or than USCO, okay? Because the USCO, you know, it's always online and then you can do that multiple times and different times during the year, you know, you can literally basically try it multiple times and you can just try that with your friends, you never know, okay? But for the HTPC, normally, okay, not this year, but normally you go to our campus, all right? So you got the same environment, the same time, the same type of questions, all right? And then it's, uh, it's we got people watching you, all right? So it's definitely more fair and then we don't want you to, you know, um, take advantage of other resources easily. So for most of the questions here, we'll be using, we're very careful on not having you to be able to Google the question. Um, but the more important, guys, this is something I have to mention also, okay? 
um, the hacker rank, if you ever use that system, okay, it does give you uh, a feature to uh, detect the, the duplicated code or, or code similarities. So in the same competition, you know, if you guys are code are very, very similar, okay, it will be basically captured automatically and then send out the warnings. It's pretty easy to check and compare. So don't, you know, share your code, exchange your ideas. It's going to get you in trouble. Okay, so it's very easy. So I'm, I'm not really trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, if you, you've ever been using the, uh, the HackerRank system, okay, log in and take a look at that. There is a feature to check the, the clone code or a similar code or, or it's basically the same kind of piece of code. They will send you one and they will tell you the percentage of similarity between any of the two pieces of code. All right, so just keep that in mind. Don't share your ideas, don't work with your team, and, and, and eventually you guys will all fail. All right, so that's why we try to keep it very fair and also. Uh, here is how we normally arrange the difficulty of questions. All right, so for middle school divisions, all right, so total of eight questions, so two easy, four medium, and also two hard. And for high school students, you guys will need more challenging questions, so you got one more hard and one less uh, easy questions. All right, um, so it's very difficult to describe <laughs> What is hard? How hard is hard, right? So it's basically, you know, among these eight questions. So that's pretty much how we uh, um, you know, design it, right? So there is no, not a standard, but I'll talk more about like exactly what you should prepare, what you should focus on, okay? Um, and also the division, the two divisions uh, share um, certain number of questions, but not all the questions, all right? So middle school uh, division, you guys will have a lot of different questions from high school divisions, all right? In the first year, we actually use exactly the same set of questions that didn't go very well. A lot of um, you know, sixth graders cried at the end, and then we don't want that to happen again, all right? So, so we actually switched some of the middle school uh, uh, division questions, all right? So that's how it works. Um, and also, if you want to see the past questions, Okay, go to the website, guys. I know a lot of you already seen it. The website have all the past questions open there. We didn't provide a solution, but uh, you can at least see the, uh, uh, the past question, what it looks like, the difficulty, everything, all right? Every year it will be different. Sometimes the year will be too difficult and next year maybe a little bit easier and then another year maybe more difficult. So it, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, it's, it's just same for everyone, all right? And also guys, this is the very important. The sample test, okay, how many of you have done this last year or this year? All right, so one of our uh, president actually sent the, the sample test here in the chat window, all right? You really need to finish that, okay? If you never use hacker rank, you must do this one before the competition. Otherwise, you, don't, you can't figure out how the hacker rank works, okay? Hacker rank use a function-based um, system to, to code and to test. It's quite different from USCCO, okay? USCCO, use standard input and output to, to uh, you know, test your program, okay? Hacker rank does not use that, all right? So you, you don't wanna go there to use a file, input, um, print, that won't work, okay? You gotta make sure that your code fits into a function. The function will give it the input and you don't need to worry about how the input will format. And then you just need to return the result from the function. Okay, that's how it works. So anyway, if you do this HTTP sample test listed here, it will show you all the um, you know, uh, what, what the real environment looks like, how you code, how you submit the test, okay? Definitely, guys, this is very, very important, okay? Uh, go to the hr.gs-htpc-sample and then type the password and then just type your email and then just try this competition uh, sample, okay? So that you know how the environment works, all right? So eventually, uh, we normally just award the top quarter award. That's for the individual division. And we got a best team collaboration, uh, not this year. And we got a Chris Hopper award. That's for female students. All right. So you can actually find out the winners from the past years uh, in our website. All right. So see how many are from your school. We know there are some of the schools are pretty competitive every year. And then uh, every year, we got a lot of participants from the school. And hopefully, you can keep, you know, the, the, the tradition of your school here, all right? Um, and also we wanna share that a lot of the winners in the past year actually, they went to really good places, all right? So you probably also know some of them, but um, 
this is definitely a very uh, uh, encouraging news. Every year when student told us, oh, you know, we are in the CS, one of the top CS, uh, you know, uh, schools in the country. All right, hopefully you guys can also, you know, go to uh, some of the good ones, all right? By the way, do we have any 12th grade student right now? Anyone can want to share some of the good, um, you know, news where you're gonna gonna be? Oh, MIT! Awesome, awesome! Wow, congratulations! All right, um, <laughs> all right. All right, I'm my Tetris. Okay, I like that. All right. Anyway, guys, good, good. I'm, 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 I'm sure that um, you probably also know some other um, of your senior classmates, friends, and they've been here before, and then they're pretty good at coding, and uh, they, they just go to some of the top places. Okay. So anyway, hope to see more of the uh, green news uh, from you guys in the near future. All right. So. Guys, this is agenda for tomorrow, okay? So pretty much the same as before, and the only thing is you don't have to wait in a long line and to, you know, to, to basically uh, uh, register, get a name tag and everything every year. That's gonna be a pain, all right? So, we, but then we still ask you guys to check in, all right? Tomorrow, guys, okay, you need to check in, all right? So um, basically, uh, 11 o'clock, go to that Zoom link, okay? So our assistant will send you the link in the chat window. Keep that link there, very important. Tomorrow, everything will be in that Zoom link, except your competition, all right? So if you got any questions, if you got any, uh, uh, you need help, go to the Zoom link, okay? We don't have a phone number for you to call, just go to the Zoom. That's basically our uh, um, competition center, friend desk, okay? So you can get help uh, from there, all right? So that Zoom link here, and you can see that from the chat window, okay? So tomorrow, okay, you go there first, okay? You can join anytime between one and the 12, all right? But remember the competition started at 12, because so you wanna make sure you got that done as early as you can. Basically, we'll ask you to check in, pretty much simple, just, you know, fill out a Google form, and you're good to go, all right? So, so that we know you are here participating, okay? And then at 12 o'clock, you guys should be ready, all right, to uh, get, uh, in front of a computer and then use the hacker rank link to participate. Okay. You do not use zoom to participate. You go to hacker rank. There is a link. Okay. To participate with uh, the rest of your peers. All right. So we are going to send you that link through email guys. Very important guys. Okay. You will receive that, that link uh, through email. All right. Either tonight or tomorrow morning, or just right before the competition. Okay, it should be before the competition anyway. So you just need to watch your email and then watch the, the, the hacker rec link with the password. Okay, then you log in at 12 o'clock. You cannot log in before 12 because the test has already set the, set the time there. So you can only log in at, at 12 and then the test will be ending at three o'clock. Okay, so you, you, you wanna make sure that you're logging um, uh, on time. All right, so otherwise you will lose your own time. Okay, just watch for the email. Now, just in case you didn't get an email for any reason, you know, you didn't get a real email, don't worry. So that's why I keep this Zoom link here. All right, that's basically our call, call center, okay? It's just like our phone number. Uh, we'll answer that and then give you uh, the actual right address to participate. All right, so definitely save this Zoom link, guys. Okay, very important. Okay, tomorrow, that Zoom link will be the call, call center will be the front desk, will be the lobby, and, and then whatever questions, just ask from there. All right. So, uh, and then also after that, we'll do a break and where we'll figure out a rank and everything. And then five o'clock, we'll do a short award ceremony. And unfortunately, we can't really hand you the certificate and everything, but we'll actually uh, figure out a way to, to ship it. Okay, we'll probably we'll just mail it to you. And um, so we'll, we'll talk more about how you get your awards and then probably when you ask your address, address tomorrow, if you win. And also the rank and everything will be posted on the website tomorrow night. All right. So that's basically the, the schedule for tomorrow. And just one more time, guys. So tomorrow this Zoom link will be kept open forever, okay? It's for your office hour, not office hours, call center, a friend desk, help center, also for the award ceremony, same thing, okay? Same link, guys, tomorrow. Just keep this one here, all right? 
let's send that link again all right so or yes so please keep this link here all right not the discord link okay the zoom link <laughs> all right thanks guys so all right finally all right so i got some of the personal tips for you guys okay uh just just you know nothing really uh significant but just kind of as reminders all right so uh the first one i think is the most important all right so the uh, you basically need to get uh, the easy questions done first. The reason is very simple. Okay, you got one simplest question done completely, and then you got one complete problem solved, and that's more significant than solving eight questions partially. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, if you say that I got three hard questions solved partially, yes, you are very good, but the other guy actually only solved one simple question, and the other guy went. All right, so that's the rule. All right, so that's why you want to identify and locate the easy questions and focus on those first. I know you guys are all very smart, but um, still get the easy one first and then get the scores that you're supposed to get. All right, and also keep in mind, guys, very important. The order of the difficulty of all, of all the questions is random, okay? The first question is not the easiest. And then the question number eight is not the hardest. Okay, most of the questions do the most of the competition is, is working like this. Otherwise, it will be very uh, easy for you. Okay, so that kind of also tests how quickly you can understand the problem and how do you evaluate the difficulty of the problem. All right, so keep in mind the first question is not the easiest one. All right, or may not be the easiest one. Definitely check out all the questions and figure out which one you can do first and then do that one first. All right. And also, um, some of you might be wondering what, what is the scope of the competition? All right, so we, we can't really tell you exactly the scope. For example, we can't tell you, okay, so for the destructor and algorithm and then some of the chapters, some of the topic we may be tested. Okay, so it doesn't make too much sense to, to specify that way. But what we can tell you is we actually focus on the core, on the fundamental algorithms, rather than the very, very advanced and complicated and sophisticated algorithms. All right. So what do I mean by core and fundamental? So for example, like arrays, lists, or right, stream manipulations, sorting, searching, binary. Okay. All of this that this this topic that you think that's pretty basic, important and being used frequently so get those ready uh, first all right but some of the algorithms such as you know some of the tree algorithms or very very advanced graph algorithms or some of the very sophisticated sorting um that you know takes you like hours to understand okay the, the algorithm could be like over 100 lines of code and just ignore those algorithms because very rarely those kind of algorithms will be tested in this kind of competition because that's not the goal of the, 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 the competition. So we want to see how quickly you can use some of these fundamental algorithms to solve the problems. And in reality, most of the time you are just using some of these very basic and fundamental algorithms, not the super fancy and special ones. All right. So that's what you should focus on. All right. And also you should know that a lot of the questions have pretty long problem description. Okay, this is a very similar to USCCO. Okay, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes longer. Uh, it's just, you know, you don't want to be intimidated by the long problem description. And the, the, the truth is that sometimes when the problem description is very long, that just, just means that the question is easier. All right, so just don't be intimidated. Just be patient and read the question back and forth and then try to, you know, um, understand what the question is about. All right, and then you can always use the test cases, sample test cases to help you understand. Okay, don't just focus on reading the text, and then come come to the end and take a look at the sample test cases, and try to you know uh, help yourself to understand the problem better. All right, so I know a lot of this you guys already know. All right, and also this is probably a lot of you have been doing. All right, so even you you guys know that. You want to optimize the algorithm, make sure it can solve the problem within a reasonable amount of time, okay? Make sure you can solve it first. If you don't know the most efficient approach, that's okay. Use the brutal force, that's better than nothing, okay? So get the problem solved first in any way you can, okay? 
Um, and then you can try to optimize a little bit if you are if if your program like times up, right? So, uh, but of course, if you already know the right solution, then go ahead with optimized approach, right? So, uh, solving it is much better than than you know um, stuck in the optimized algorithm uh, implementation, right? And also, I have to say that um, the HSPC, okay for the timeout, it's not as picky as USCCO. So don't worry too much about the time. Okay, if you can solve it, I think you are really good. USCCO, I know, like sometimes students will get trouble if you use, you know, some of the language like Python, um, you know, it's not very efficient, but it, that, that won't happen for the HIPC. All right, so don't worry too much about that. All right, this is also important, guys. Okay, so if you've been here before and then you know how it works, and if this is the first time you've been here, okay, keep in mind that you do not need to solve all the questions within the three hours, and if you want to win, all right? So very, very important, because I want to give you a reminder that this is the competition, all right? So we want to rank everyone, and if everyone can solve the question within two hours, it's very difficult for us to rank. So that's why from the competition point of view, we do not want everyone to solve the, all the questions. So that we can see who solved seven, who solved six, five, four, and three, right? So that make our job easier, all right? So that means if you solve, you know, one or two, two or three, you got a chance, all right? So you, you, you really keep this in mind because we don't want you to feel, you know, frustrated after one question or two questions, you don't know what to do. And then I know a lot of you are pretty your top student in your class, right? You, I, I assume that all of you are math pretty good. You learn coding for a long time, you get very smart best student in the class and then you go to the competition, suddenly you see you don't, you, you normally got a hundred points in your, in your test, but then in the competition that you can't solve like a three question in a row and then you just, you just you know, don't know what to do, all right? So that's very, very typical, okay? Because this is a competition that we want to rank everyone. So it could be very challenging, all right? So you just need to focus on solving uh, the question you can solve one by one, all right? Again, some student actually uh, a couple of years ago, we saw the student actually solve two questions and then they got very frustrated after competition. They just left. It turned out that the, that team actually got the second place all right, with only two questions being solved. All right. So, um, but again, so it doesn't really mean the question is always that difficult, but when you feel difficult, it's basically the same for the rest of us, right? So it's all fair. Uh, but then if you still think that you can solve all the eight questions pretty quickly, then very likely a lot of others can do the same. All right, so it's all with the same. So really don't be intimidated by or frustrated by not solving some of the questions, right? So that's why sometimes you stuck on some question for a long time, just give it up, right? So, um, you know, keep going and tell yourself that maybe somebody else also cannot solve it. That's just, uh, uh, you know, try to improve ourselves, all right? And so, as always, you know, this kind of competition, the real challenge always come from the time limit, all right? So, for the questions, even though they are very difficult, however, if you, uh, um, if you give you enough time, for example, I give you a whole day time to solve it, most of you probably can solve all of them. And the really difficulty comes when we give you only three hours, and then that's when the stress comes in. That's going to make your, uh, you know, uh, coding and maybe maybe less efficient, okay, because you're more stressful, right? So just keep that in mind. So as a kind of a tip, you know, in the future, when you practice this kind of competition, you really should try to, um, you know, uh, practice with stress, all right? So you should always give yourself a time limit, okay? I'm just going to myself you know, 30 minutes to solve this one and just, just count the time. That's going to help a lot for competition because otherwise, uh, most of the time during the day, you're so relaxed, you know, you have a coffee, you, you, you just watch TV and then put your, put your headphone and then do the coding and you feel so comfortable. And then when we put you into the competition environment, suddenly you don't know what to do. Okay, you feel so much stress. Okay, just because you're not very familiar with that kind of environment. All right, so that's the kind of another tip I gave you. All right, so anyway, guys, that's pretty much what I want to share with you all today. All right, so keep this information here one more time, okay? Um, uh, email, okay, you can still contact us, but tomorrow, check in uh, with the Zoom, uh, go to the room. Any questions uh, before and 
during the competition, after competition, come to that uh, meeting room, okay, to get help. Okay, we will have our, um, you know, uh, staff member there to help you. And then um, hope everyone will have a, you know, a, you know, a good break tonight. And then tomorrow we wanna see who can get the top coders. All right, so now I'm open for questions, guys. Don't spam the, don't spam the, the chat window, okay? So let's do this. I, I don't know if the chat window is gonna work because there are too many messages, okay? If you got a question, can you raise your hand in Zoom and then uh, you can just ask or maybe just send the questions to me. All right, I saw some of, some of you actually read that. Ryan, go ahead. Uh, hi, uh, are the questions on average gonna be around the same difficulty, easier or more difficult than last year? Oh, last year? Well, that I, I can't really say, Ryan, because I okay. guess, uh, <laughs> So, you know, last year I know was very challenging, okay? Definitely this year we did a lot of adjustment. Um, so obviously some of the questions will be easier, but some, some questions not necessary. Uh, but again, this is very hard to, to say it because it really depends on, you know, the actual students. Um, but uh, hopefully, okay, hopefully it's a slightly easier, okay? So I will okay. put it that way. Yeah, gotcha. because last year definitely was very, very challenging. Okay. Um, are there also going to be, uh, sorry, I have another couple of questions. Go ahead, uh, no, are there going to be uh, input size constraints that are explicitly stated? I remember some of the problems last year, they didn't have those. For example, like if you could receive an integer n, like what the maximum amount of n can possibly be. Oh, you mean some of the constraints were not put in the problem description, right? Yeah, so we had kind of, kind of, kind of assumed, so like you could mm -hmm. maybe go by with like, uh, you right. know, less efficient solutions or you would, yeah, so. Um, right. So we would we'll make sure, okay, that's a great point. Okay, we'll make sure that the uh, descriptions have clear constraints. However, if something happens in the middle of the, the test, if you got like a question about a problem, maybe, you know, you got, you think the question is very confused or whatever reason, go to the Zoom um, uh, room and then just uh, message the host there. Okay, okay cool. So you, can, you can ask for class clarification for sure. Just like normally what we do in a classroom, you can always ask the assistant for clarification. Gotcha. Uh, and one more thing, finally. Uh, um, sorry, actually, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. No problem. All right, so uh, whoever raised your hand, Andrew, go ahead uh, and mute yourself. Um, so I had a question about like um, scoring. So if, if you received like the all available test cases passed or like, you know that you solved all the test cases that are there. Does that guarantee you full like credit for that one question? Yes, yes, yes. Because the hyperread will tell us exactly um, how many you pass, and then there will be a score. So, for example, every question could be a hundred uh, points, and then if you pass every everything, then you get a hundred points. If you pass ninety percent, you got a ninety. So you will know like during the contest, like after you finish like coding the problem and submitting it, that you don't need to like worry about the problem and you can just move on to further like further questions. Exactly, yeah, you, you, you're, you're, once you're done, you just submit. Okay. And you can resubmit it multiple times. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, uh, let me see, uh, Ming Yong. Hello. Hey, yeah, go ahead. Um, so I, I, heard about like there were some issues last year uh, about technical problems um, if there are any login issues that ever take place uh, will we have to just go to the zoom and tell you guys yes yes so good point uh, hopefully you didn't have that issue last year yeah last year we had like two or three students who had a login issue we, we, we mm -hmm. were very bad about that and with this year it, well, the issue was on the hacker rank side okay we didn't actually test it very well and this year that shouldn't happen okay we got our account updated that shouldn't have, but again, just in case anything happens, go back to the Zoom uh, chat, uh, sorry, Zoom uh, meeting room and ask for help. Got it, thank you. All right, no problem. And games? Um, yeah, so you mentioned that, you know, first try the brute force uh, implementation. And I noticed in the sample uh, test, uh, the brute force implementation would pass some of the test cases, but it wouldn't pass like the the, up, the time limit one. Mm -hmm. So do you get scores for just, let's say there are 10 test cases and you only pass five of them. 
Do you get scored for this? Yes, that's why I just mentioned in during the rule. So, uh, so I, I said that you know if you don't know the optimized approach or you're not confident, you can get that completely done. So start with a brutal force, maybe give you a better idea. And who knows? Maybe that just pass all the test cases, right? But definitely some of the test cases you can't pass that with a brutal force. It will time out, but uh, you got uh, credit on those. So that's what I explained earlier. So when we are ranking everyone, we first take a look at how many. Basically, you will be ranked with your score. Okay, so it's basically your, um, uh, you know, you you, will have, you you actually will have your score. Um, but first of all, we actually look at your uh, completely solved questions first. Okay, if you got the most completely solved questions, then you're you're basically ranked higher. Uh, no question about it. However, if you guys have the same shared questions, and then we look at your score, that score will be counting counting all the partially solved questions. So, so back to your question, yes, when, if you got a brutal force, you solved six out of the 10 test cases, you submit, and then you got a 60% of the scores. But that score will only be used when you are ranking with, with anyone else with, with the same number of questions solved completely. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah thanks. It, it will be helpful for sure, for sure, yeah. Uh, la last question. Um, so you mentioned completely solved the problem. I think that means that you have to submit all eight questions, right? Whether or not they're, that's even working. Yeah, but if if uh, if it doesn't pass, you know, right, right, there are no score. It automatically submits, guys. So it's basically when the time time is up, and the question will be submitted anyway. Got it. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So everything that the ranking part is actually very very easy because the hacker rank pretty much print everything and rank automatically, and based on the rules. So it's pretty clear for us to see. And we can actually even see how, how much time you spend on each question, how many time you submitted, all of those details is all tracked by the hacker rank. Thank you. No problem. All right, and any other questions? Um, I'm assuming uh, test cases aren't weighted by difficulty. Is that correct? It's, I'm sorry, the test cases are not what? Weighted by difficulty. No, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah. Just by percentage, yeah. Um, let's say uh, both some other person and I uh, for, have completely solved four questions, and right. then I, on a more difficult problem, I solved two of the test cases, whereas the other person solved uh, eight of the test cases uh, on an easier problem. In that case, would the other person have a higher rank than me because he solved more test cases in total. Yes. Than me. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, because, it, you know, it, 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 we can't really just say this question is harder because hard or not is it depends on the individual, right? So. Okay. That, that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then even in the event that both the number of questions and the number of test cases as a tiebreaker are the same, then will time be used as a second? Yes, but, but I explained that rarely happens. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. All right, any other questions? All right, and Eric, go ahead. Hi, uh, can you explain again what's the Zoom meeting for at 11 tomorrow? Oh, it's mostly for you to check in. Okay, just basically you come there and then uh, you're not gonna like talk to us. We basically will send you a Google form and make sure you fill it up and check in. We wanna see if uh, you, know, you guys are here and get ready, okay? Um, it's we can't really make it required it doesn't really mean that if you don't check in we, we don't send you a link we'll send you the link through email anyway just but just want to make sure that you guys are here be aware of any of the changes and um yeah that's basically the purpose but it, you don't have to stay for the whole hour okay you just check in fill out a form and go have a lunch and then relax okay thank you all right yeah, be careful about our lunch tomorrow, okay? Don't eat too much before the competition, okay? It's a noon time. It's not, it shouldn't be the best time for you to code, but um, be careful on what you eat. All right. Okay, Deepro, go ahead. And Deepro, you can, uh, you can unmute yourself and do you have a question? So um, say tomorrow you finish around six of the questions. Mm -hmm. um, do you, and 
you want to try the next two questions, but you think they're, they're too hard for you. Um, should we just submit the six questions or should we also keep on working onto the two questions until time runs out? Yeah. You keep working for sure, because you might just pass some extra test cases. And I guess you, you're asking because you're, you're worried about the time. So the time doesn't, it doesn't mean that if you submit that like a, a one, one hour, 30 minutes and you got less time, it doesn't work that way. So the time, they actually track how much time you spend on each individual question. It's tracked by a hacker. Okay. But okay. that, that again, you guys don't, don't think too much about the time. It's, uh, it's rarely used. So you, your goal should be getting more, even partially solved the question, as many as you can. Okay, all right, thank you. No problem. Tom, go ahead. Uh, hi, so on average, about how many people do you think, like, as a, per as a percentage, how many people, like, finish all eight questions? Oh, uh, very, 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 very few. Okay, so I think, okay. if I remember correctly, well, in 2017, okay, we got maybe two or three, or four finish all, all eight of them. That's why since then we actually increased the difficulty. So uh, in, I think I remember 18, maybe there is maybe one or two, I guess. Mm -hmm. and last year for sure, no. Last year was very challenging. And also last year we got some issues on the hacker rank and also one. Uh, okay. So, so uh, yeah, so, uh, but I can tell you, uh, Tom, you're, you're high school, right? Yeah. Yeah, so high school normally does a lot better. Okay, middle school. Oh, okay. It's, it's definitely challenging, guys. So, how many guys? You are middle school students, okay? Your goal is to get one uh, soft and or two soft, okay? I, I'm pretty sure if you got a one or two, you will be ranked, okay? So, for middle school, so don't uh, don't worry if you can't solve like uh, you know most of them. It's very difficult. But for high schools, I know we got a pretty good players here, okay? I know we every year we got a very competitive student from USCCO from you know. Uh, you know, they've been practicing for many years and um, so we'll see, all right. But, you know, I would say if you solve three or four, you're pretty good. Okay, so you, you will probably get ranked. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. All right, uh, uh, Games, you have other uh, questions? Yeah, sorry. Um, so tomorrow, basically, at 11 a.m., just go to the Zoom link, and that's that's how we can get the link for the hackerang and something. Yes, yes, but then very likely we'll also send you uh, through email because we can't guarantee everyone will go there. So we'll okay. send you through whatever registry email. So since you guys are here, I think you are all safe because you probably received the email we sent in the past few days. But if you have other friends, you want to tell them, you know, go ahead. Um, but then that's the only way we'll tell you the 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 link. All right. Right. So if I have a friend who also registered, but he said he didn't receive even this email for this webinar, That's is exactly. there like an email? So just email to this hsbc at dot cpp at exactly, gmail. Exactly. Exactly. So we got a couple of those because when, when you guys were registered, sometimes you just have a typo on the email. Uh, that's where the, the problem happened. And also sometimes the email actually go to the spam. So uh, definitely, you know, if you know some others, let them know the Zoom link. That's why we want to still have this check-in process because you know who knows what happened tomorrow. Right, and right. Have questions, yeah. But definitely right. come here to check in. I think we'll just ask you to fill up a Google form. That's it. And you don't have to talk to us. Uh, just relax. And um, you said there will be an email sent tomorrow. Is that going to be like like early in the morning or towards eleven a.m.? Uh, no, no. We, we we probably have to send earlier. We okay. can't send it before right before the test. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. No problem. All right. Um, Yuni, go ahead. Yeah, because I, this is Yvonne. I get the email or I found an email in the junk folder late. So yeah. uh, for my son. Okay. And I, I missed the whole part of the webinar. Oh, I, no, don't recording. worry. I'm, I'm are, they, are they going to send it to me or? Yeah, I'm uh, recording it. Uh, right after the meeting, I will uh, post it on YouTube and then I will send a link to everyone tonight. Okay, thank you. For the sample question, uh, from that sample question, so my son can practice it. Is that similar to the sample question for tomorrow? Or? Yeah, so great question. So uh, I forgot to mention that, guys. For the sample question, okay, the environment, 
the coding environment, the format is exactly the same as the time coming tomorrow. But the difficulty is uh, not that tomorrow, okay? The difficulty is very, very, very easy, okay? So that's not the actual competition difficulty. Just keep that in mind. That so the sample test is only for you to get familiar with the environment, how to submit, how to check answer, and know how to do the input and output. But the actual question will be more difficult than that. Oh, actual question. You, what you're saying that the difficulties level will be easier than the sample question. It's no, all right. Way more, way more difficult. Much oh, it will be more difficult than the yeah. sample question. Yeah. Oh, so okay. don't assume the the content will be just like the sample test. But All the right. environment is the same. The, the sample test is for everyone to be familiar with how to use hacker rank. I see. All right. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Joseph, you got a question? So where uh, can we access the recording of the video? Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm recording right now. After that, I will uh, post it to YouTube. And oh. then you guys just go, go there to check it out. OK, thank you. No problem. So, uh, Richard had a question. How many uh, problems should be solved to, run, to be ranked in the female category? Um, again, there, there's no standard. It's, it's all about ranking. Okay, so if uh, you know, nobody solves anything, then you solve one, then you're basically number one, right? So it's, it's all about the, you know, the relative ranking. So, um, but you know, in, in the past, I think you got, I would say like a three or four questions. If you're talking about a high school uh, category, I mean three, four questions. And no matter whether it's a female or not, I think you, you you're gonna get a pretty good position. Right? Definitely not a top three. If in, from the past year, the top three, top five, most of them solve six questions or above. Okay, um, but um, three or four is is gonna give you a pretty good position. But again, th th again, all of this number that I'm seeing doesn't make any sense, okay? It all depends tomorrow how many you solve. So that's why I don't make this mistake. Last year or two years ago, this guy got two questions solved and then he was so frustrated that he just left right away. And then when we were given the award, the second place and nobody no, uh, gave the uh, awards. Okay, don't make that mistake. You feel difficult, the same for everyone else. So stick to the end, all right? So just get as many test cases passed as possible. Even no question solved, that's fun. But every question you solve, one or two test cases, you still get gets a lot of scores at the end. Don't you? You shouldn't give up in the middle of a town competition. Okay, that's very very important. All right. So we don't have the count actually for the middle school, or high school yet. Okay, but uh, the high school is the majority. Okay, middle school is uh, less. All right, any other questions? Well, uh, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the price tomorrow, okay? So it's probably um, nothing huge, but definitely something you know, we'll do our best. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. How's everyone's uh, uh, been in the past months, you know, staying at home? Are you guys having a lot of Zoom classes? One after another? All right. Okay, guys. Well, um, hope everyone will uh, have fun tomorrow. Uh, Brian, you got another question? Go ahead. So I was wondering if we were able to see the outputs of the test cases. Yes. So that's why you should t you should try that sample test. So uh, HackerRank allows you to uh, to print, and then it's going to show in a debug window. All right. So you can you can see if you put some of the print statement, it will get the things outputted in the debug. Uh, there's a section or a little window in the in the page that you can see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but you know when you are coding it, you feel free to use other editor. That's fine. Okay, you don't have to use HackerRank to to code everything. 
But even though, but although, although hacker rank is already very, very advanced, okay, you pretty much can just use hacker rank to do everything. It's a pretty good editor right now. Uh, All right, thank you. Yeah, but yeah, definitely take a look at the sample test so you will see how it works. All right, okay, thank you guys. All right, so if you don't have any, qu any questions, I'm gonna start meeting soon and uh, just watch for the email, okay? See you all guys tomorrow.